look good because they pass the ball. Great passing leads to outstanding shooting, and that was the difference. Even a guy like Jay Henderson kept getting open because of the passing of, of Q, Deng, and, um, and Donovan. They had 33 assists in the game, and then they're going to shoot the ball well. And then the red team did not pass the ball well. They forced shots. They went one-on-one -on -one too much. And um, subsequently, they only had 15 assists, and they let the other team shoot 56%. Uh, Mats has got a sore thumb, but he, he did a much better job in the second half. It's obvious that Jalen, Dang, Quentin, Donovan are all ready to play. Uh, now we got to get the other four or five guys understanding what we're trying to do, especially at the defensive end. Uh, and it'll come. It's just um, we got another week before we play an exhibition game, and we want to really start to work and hone in on our defense. Well, he's got to learn to shoot free throws better. You know, somebody asked me about, about free throw shooting, and there are rare exceptions to the rule, like um, – I always said Otis Birdsong was a great shooter from the outside, but he was a terrible foul shooter. By and large, if you can shoot the basketball from the outside, you're going to be a pretty good free throw shooter. The correlation's always there. And if you, if you don't shoot the ball well, you're probably not going to be a good foul shooter. But Anas is a good passer. He understands the game. He's a good shot blocker. We just got to play. Uh, the most important guy that we get to play better is Ray Spalding. We got to get him playing better. He's just careless, careless with the basketball, careless with his ball fakes and passing. He reaches too much on defense and gives up easy buckets. Um, he's just got to – I think he's going to be a great basketball player someday. He's just got to get fundamentally sound at all phases of the game, passing, defense, blocking out, screening, all the fundamentals of the game. And it's something that he's got to work on because he was very well coached in high school at the fundamentals. So it's, it's, on, it's in his lap. He's got he's to start doing it. Yeah, a little bit better, a little bit better. I think it's very difficult for those guys to play a whole game like that, pressing and running like that. That's, you know, we, we use the red-white games as a major conditioner. And those guys, are especially, Q never gets tired. Donovan very rarely gets tired. Dan cramps up a little bit because his body fat's so low. But I've been holding out Jay Henderson, uh, not for uh, the big games, and um, he came through for us. So, last week, that you wanted, specifically with Q, that you wanted to maybe slow down a little, not start dribbling or running before he starts dribbling. How did he do last week? I'm, I'm not sure what I said. What said I, that he was traveling. Oh, running with the best. He, he, he didn't do it tonight at all, which was great. We show him the film, and he's a very, uh, obviously, very intelligent basketball player. But he... He's the difference maker. He, he knows what he's doing, and nobody in the red team at that position knows what he's doing. So he's the reason. If you put Q on the white team, uh, red team, it would have been a competitive game. Yeah, I, I think we got to work a little bit against the zone now. But this was, um, we, we, I felt the white team was going to blow out the red team. And it, it's one of the reasons why I'm recruiting the way I'm recruiting. It's because we're, we're recruiting right now shooters. If you're going to play this style, it's new, you've got to be able to shoot the basketball. And you can see the red team couldn't shoot it, and the white team could shoot it. The white team could pass the basketball and move without it, and subsequently they got a lot of backdoor layups because of it. So it's a tale of two teams. One team could shoot, pass, and go backdoor, and the other team didn't do any of those things. Mango just started working out an individual instruction. Now, we're going to take it easy because um, it's going to take him a, maybe, uh, if I had to give a time span, of, we're hoping for the Battle of Atlantis for him to be ready. Matt may be a little optimistic, but I'm hoping. When will you know he's back, ready to play? Well, remember, now, he hasn't played competitive basketball since last December, and I think he's got, Kenny told me today, 231 points in his career. So he, he's got to get back. He's been hurt a lot. So the, the worst thing we could do is rush it.
And generally when you do that, you hurt some other part of your anatomy. And that's something we don't want to do. He was really vocal from the bench tonight. Is that something you see a lot in practice as well? Yeah, it's, it's been tough on him because he's not playing. It's good to have him on the court. He's anxious to get back. He's got to drop, you know, six, seven pounds and get in basketball shape. It's, toughest thing is going to be mentally for him to get over the hurdle because he's, he's broken that foot twice now and he's going to say, should I jump off it? How do I land? And those are things that you you got to go through. It, it takes time, and that's why I don't want to rush him. I thought he did other things, and that's a, I'll give you an example. VJ is just trying to score. He's not trying to rebound. He's not trying to pass. He's not trying to create steals. You think about it uh, and look at his line. No offensive rebounds, no steals, and, and he played 37 minutes in a pressing style. So he's not used to this, but now you look at Dang, and he's got, um, he gets to the foul line 10 times. He's got nine rebounds, eight assists, and two steals. So he, he's doing a lot, but I, I'm really, really impressed with Donovan Mitchell and Quentin Snyder, if you, if you want to know the truth. Those two guys are playing great basketball. Donovan, as you know, you could just see it. You know, losing 17 pounds. And uh, he just looks great, looks great, quicker, faster. Um, we're very impressed with him. Anything else? What do you think about Tony Hicks? Tony Hicks got to learn how to play this style. You know, he, he's, he's very fast, but he's got to use the speed to create for people. Um, you know, it's funny because, and, and we got to go to work on it, he's struggling a little bit from the outside, but his, if he shoots his semi-set or jump shot, the way he shoots his free throw form-wise, I told him this at halftime, he'll be a good shooter. But he shoots a totally different shot uh, from the perimeter that he does at the foul line, so we're going to go to work on that. But he's fast. Um, the thing that he could do for us, and he's not used to it, he could be the best steal guy, the best defensive player on the team, and he's not even in the top five. So that's, some, that's just getting used to the system. So, you know, he, he should be like he has one steal in all those minutes. That's, uh, the other thing he doesn't do, he doesn't rebound the basketball defensively. And when you trap and jump around, you're never like guarding your own man. You're trapping, you're running. Guys like Terry Rozier and Donovan Mitchell are so crucial because, and Dang Adele because they rebound the basketball. So he's just got to get used to the system of what we ask from. We, we ask an awful lot from our guards in terms of rebounding, in terms of passing, in terms of uh, paint touching. And he's got to get used to all those things. It's all foreign to him. Remember, he didn't even play last year. It wasn't that he, he's a 50th senior. He didn't play at all last year. So overall, it's, it's, it's a good effort. We got a lot out of it. We had a lot of fun. Uh, it's a big, obviously, recruiting weekend for us. Um, I love the way recruiting's going right now. You know, I'm not allowed to talk about specific recruits, but I love the way recruiting's going because we, we've... We're getting the things that we need done from a recruiting standpoint and uh, have very loyal people that uh, are very excited uh, to be future Cardinals. So at a later time, I don't know whenever that signing period is, we'll talk about it. We're not allowed to talk about individuals, but it's a big weekend for us, and the guys had a lot of fun. Do you like Michael's form on that last shot? I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I'm glad it went in. I'm glad it, and that's the way that white team, everything went in, everything went in. You know, Jay Henderson now is, I could see it now he's going to have, Coach, can I speak to you tomorrow? What do you think about me getting more minutes? <laughs> All right, thank you.